I am Jess. If you have been here before, then welcome back. So it's been um, a while since I posted a video and I've just been on the run. But um, I went to Afropunk this past weekend and I recorded a video. I will put that in the description box below so you can see how I felt about that. But um, I just wanted to talk to you guys today about a product that I reviewed, uh, what was it, it's a couple weeks ago? Um, and it was Carol's Daughter's uh, Hair Up Milk. Now Carol's Daughter's was actually at Afropunk, which is really cool, but I didn't get a chance to go over to their little concession stand. But it reminded me that I had this little thing at home and I wanted to try. Um, now after being out there in the dust, it was so filthy out there. After being out there, um, I really just wanted to come home and kind of just wash my hair. But I wanted to um, use this. So this is Carol's Daughter's Hair Milk is their cleansing conditioner. And um, it is for curls and coils, kinks and waves, which accurately describes my hair. Um, and it says that it deeply moisturizes, improves softness and prevents frizz. Um, it has agave, shea and provitamin B5 in it. Now, um, I like that this is like a natural product, like on the back it says that it has no sulfates, no parabens, no petroleum, no mineral oil, and no artificial colors. Um, the ingredients are pretty hard to pronounce actually. <laughs> but um, the first ingredient is water and then um, cedar alcohol and then glycerin. And um, if you know anything about glycerin, glycerin is really good for pulling moisture um, into your hair. Uh, I like to use it mostly in the summertime when it's like really humid outside, which accurately describes the weather right now. So um, I use this and it did really well, uh, surprisingly well actually. I think I'm actually buy this again because I loved it so much. Um, what I did was last night, I, um, after I came back from the gym, I got in the shower and I washed my hair after um well i just wet it and then i use this to wash it after um i did that then i rinsed it out um i'm lying <laughs> after I did that i applied a regular conditioner to the ends and um washed up as usual and then i rinsed it out um and then i came out of the shower i didn't um i detangled my hair while i was in the shower and i didn't really do anything when i came out um as far as like t-shirt drying or anything like that i just i twisted my hair after i detangled in the shower and then i came out my hair was pretty much soaking wet i just grabbed a t-shirt and squeezed the excess water the excess water out of the strands of my hair and then i proceeded to use the um mache moisture super fruit renewal leave-in conditioner which i have another video for that i will also link in the description i'm tagging though this is self promotion i'm tagging all of my videos but I um I used that and just twisted it up and then I let it out this morning and it's it's really soft like it's super moisture I love it I think I'm definitely going to use this again as far as co-washing I'm kind of like straying away from um regular shampoo I don't really like it that much I find that no matter what kind of shampoo I use it I find it to be like stripping unless I use shea moisture of their coconut um and hibiscus uh shampoo line i find that to be really good but as far as like regular shampoos i don't really like them anymore i find that they leave my hair uh just really stripped and tangled um even if i do a um like a pre-poo with oils and stuff um i don't i don't really like it so um i've decided that i'm pretty much just going to co-wash my hair from now on and um if i do want something that will clean it because it still leaves my hair feeling very clean um and not stripped which is really what i'm looking for so as far as this product goes i love it and i definitely will use it again i want to try her other lines to see you know what else she has but the hair milk one is i think it's going to be a staple but see it is my only problem though is that this is a little bit more expensive than shea moisture so i'm not really for it that much but it was on sale when i bought it so i guess i'll just keep an eye out for when it's on sale and buy it then but um i liked it yeah 
If you guys have ever tried any of her other products um, that you recommend, put that down below in the comments. Or um, if you have tried this and you liked it, uh, let me know how you felt about it. And I think that's it. This video has been a long time coming. Like I think I wanted to review this maybe like two weeks ago. And I just now got around to using it. But no, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and that's it. Yeah, this is really a short video. But I just wanted to get up and finally tell you guys how I felt about this product. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.